Lamont, how's it going? What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? What's, What's up? up? What's up, What's up y'all? Lamont, uh, good to see you here in New York. Lamont, what was your first uh, reaction when you uh, the fight with Javante Davis came around and everything was already signed, delivered in the uh, with ink? Uh, my first reaction was uh, about time. It's about time. Uh, you know, I've been working for opportunities like this. I've been doing all my career. I've been trying to fight the best that I the best opponents that I can, and um, get an opportunity like this to show that I'm one of the best in the world. Lamont, do you feel like it's nothing with you with all the antics and running late and everything? Nah, like, I, just trying to get under your skin? Nah, I just think that's him. He's just, he just late. And how do you feel about being an underdog in this fight? Uh, it's the same way I would have felt about being uh, not the underdog. Either way, I'm, I'm going to win. Fighting him already, the amateurs, you fought him twice, and uh, came up short in those fights. I know you said that you're still on YouTube. You can still watch them, see how close those fights were. I believe some of that, uh, having that experience with him in the ring is gonna carry on to the professional. Obviously, it's a little bit different styles, amateur and professional. Uh, yeah, it's a big, I mean, it's a big difference. Obviously, um, we both evolved and uh, we both got better and we both do different things. Um, if there's little tendencies, we'll probably see. Um, but other than that, you know, those fights don't matter now. We right here on the big stage. Mom, where did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You just did. This the name of the brand right here, Lover Boy. Did you notice any flaws in this Frank Martin fight that you could uh, expose? Uh, that fight was relatively easy for him. Um, so, you know, it is. It is what it is. It's, it's going to be a different fight when I'm in there. He's going to be a different fighter uh, when he's fighting me. Why was it so easy? Why was it so easy when he fought Frank Martin? Frank Martin was uh, inexperienced and nervous. What's your experience like? Whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> three fights in three, three, three months. You got three months, Lamont. You got three months in the fight. People who don't know about your resume, uh, why don't you tell the audience or everybody here like why you deserve this fight? What's your pedigree and, um, and, and why you deserve to be at this uh, fight for this in March 4th? Uh, simple man. I uh, I built my career up from well, my team built my career up from the uh, from the from the ground up. Uh, you know my team. I still have the same team from when I turned uh, professional. Uh, took on the, the the best fights for my career. Worked myself up to a number one contender spot. Um, lost a close fight to Jamel Herring. Bounced back and um, got in there with a common opponent of of uh, both of us, but Hector Luis Garcia, and beat him easy. So uh, obviously, you know, uh, the proof is in the pudding. I love your energy right now that you have and your confidence, man. Where is that coming from, man? Because when I listen to you, you have no doubt in your mind that you're going to win this fight. Talk that's, to me. That's me. That's me. Why would I, I, wouldn't be, I shouldn't be here if I didn't think I was going to win. Champ, Champ, with you moving up in weight, do you feel you still have the power to be able to hurt him or even get him out of there? Just like everybody else. I hurt everybody I've been in the ring with or I dropped him or whatever the case may be. He ain't going to be no different. You got three months in the fight now. Where will your training camp be at? Who will you be sparring for this fight? Uh, I'll be training. I'll be training in a non-disclosed location. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, who I'll be sparring? I'll be sparring a couple of good southpaws, a couple of bigger guys, a couple of smaller guys. Uh, mix the speed in, mix the power up, and um, you know we'll get the best work that we can get. Watch the tank. His last fights. What did you see negatively? Pluses and minuses on it. It wasn't too much to take, for, like I said, it wasn't too much to take negatively from that fight. Um, uh, except little small things. Uh, but other than that, he had a relatively easy fight. Lamont, what are your advantages in this fight? My advantages in, my, in this fight are uh, my IQ, my, my, mental, my mental, my will, and uh, my, my skill level. Lamont, a lot of critics on social media have been saying that you better do a better uh, fight than uh, Frank Martin. A lot of people are saying that even on social media, the critics and the fans. What do you think about that? Uh, I mean, that's a good analysis, but I'm not, you know, too, I'm not here to like down Frank Martin or nothing like that. People keep comparing it to Frank Martin. Um, it, it just is what it is. Like, you know, like I said, I'm, I would be better suited to beat him. When people fight Javante, he's a great fighter, but they always talk about the moment. Fighting him is kind of like a Super Bowl. Like, how do you kind of manage that moment? Uh, I just I look at it as just uh, you know like not just another fight. Obviously, there's the upside to uh, a victory, but this is my show. It ain't his show. Uh, like you know, what I'm saying for him it might be his show. For everybody else, it might this 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 my show. Coach Kenny uh, put a, a can of Raid 
kind of like, mm. what's your response or thoughts of the, the answer? Yeah, since they did the Ghostbuster with Frank Martin. You gotta think my last name is Roach. <laughs> you done heard it all. I done heard it all since I was since I was five years old. I done been hearing it, so I ain't, that ain't nothing new. Uh, the braid, the braid is definitely nothing new. So uh, you know, I pay that no mind. And uh, if Kenny want to get funny, we can get funny. I'm a funny motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is Johnny Boy Boxing in Fight High. Do you feel that you could be the first fighter to stop Javante Davis? And how would you do that? God damn. Donald <laughs> Tank has never been stopped in 30 fights, right? let alone loss, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm always looking for a knockout, um, no matter what, I'm always prepared for 12 rounds, but I'm always looking for a knockout, and if I get the chance, I'm gonna try to knock his head off. Lamar, but do you think you see it coming, you see the knockout coming? Uh, do you? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do you? <laughs> I don't know. Answer it, do you? Sorry, Lamar. Honestly, I don't. Okay. <laughs> huh? I'm going to be whatever I could be to win. Um, I'm going to be strategic. People, people saying that you're easy because you're moving up way. What you got to say about that? <laughs> y'all gonna see the y'all gonna see the 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 difference, the size difference when he get up here. Come on, right back there. Uh, talking to y'all, having fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just giving me more time to get, you know what I'm saying, get ready, get more sharper. Um, whether the fight was going to be in December, whether the fight was going to be in March, I was still going to be in blast. I'm still going to be the best that I can be. I was going to be mentally sharp. I was going to be physically sharp. Why was the fight postponed? You know, it was, it, was, it was December, then it got pushed to January, then all the way to March. To be I'm honest, I think he wasn't ready, like, like now. <laughs> you think he was going to probably make weight or... That they're not gonna get nothing to you. Um, got to take everything, and um, boxing is unforgiving, so you got to take everything. Nah, you got about nine days leading up to the fight. What's some things you doing to prepare for the fight? Uh, working hard, training my ass off, uh, getting stronger, getting faster, and um, you know, watching some film. Do you feel like you got something to prove to the fans? I'm gonna say yes and no. I'm only gonna say yes because I, you know, I appreciate my fans. But uh, the the doubters, the haters, the t you know, what I'm saying the the downers. I don't got nothing to prove to them. It's all for myself. Um, I want to be the best, and I'm gonna prove myself that I'm the best. Is that a rematch clause? If you if you, if you beat it? Yes, or of course. It, every cha every champion, every champion should have a rematch clause. We're fighting for his belt, so I'm pretty sure I would throw a rematch clause in there too. If you be Tank, would you like to fight next? Uh, Tank. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, pretty much. Side note, what did you think about the whole situation between Brian Garcia and Devin Haney? The suing, the Devin Haney suing him. Oh, what, what Devin, do you think? I'm, I'm not too uh, into the political side or whatever they got going on. I think uh, Brian's a cheater. Um, I speak out against that. That's dirty. I don't care about nothing else. That's dirty in our sport. Um, our lives are at stake. Uh, whatever, he, whatever uh, you know, actions he's taking up against him outside the ring, and I, I don't got nothing to deal with because you know I don't got nothing to think about or talk about on his stance. That's his decision, or whatever the case may be. I don't got nothing to do with that. What do you think about um, Shakur fighting Kid Austin? I know you guys come up in the amateur, so obviously you know what he's aware. Of. He says you're you know a great opponent for Tank. So what do you think about him and Kid Austin? Uh, uh, Kid Austin, the number two contender, right in the, uh, in one of them sanctioning bodies, the, the WBA. Yeah, the WBA. So, uh, and Shakur couldn't get a fight. The, the safest, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not his fault, and people not fighting him. So, and then I guess you know Schofield and his daddy talked his way into another in, into a fight. So, it is what it is. I think Shakur going, you know, do his thing and show why, show why that people might be, you know, down in that fight as well. What does it mean to have this fight in New York and uh, closer to Closer to home is great for me. Uh, you're going to notice, and uh, obviously this wasn't open for the public, but you're going to notice that there's a lot of people here for me. <laughs> Thursday is going to be crazy. Did you take this fight as soon as it was over, Eh, no. I didn't. Why not? Well, 
But why you thought about it? I got shit on the table. Uh, I think, um, I think pretty much everybody would say that, you know, Tank has the advantage about um, Bobby having an advantage in, like, Look, uh, at the end of the day, I'm not going in there worried too much about what he got going on. Everybody know what he can do, blah, blah, blah. We know. But it's my show. I'm going in there doing what I got to do to secure the victory. If that means I'm going to fight on the inside, then I'm going to smash him in the inside. If I got to fight on the outside, I'm going to box his socks up. Lamar, you've, you seem very relaxed, very confident. You know, the past few fights that I personally have covered some of the Javante fights, when he speak to his opponents, kind of have a little bit, you know, the voice kind of cracks every now and then. But where, where is this confidence coming from? Because, like, you know, we were saying, you're going up on weight. I guess we could say he is a knockout artist, but where does his confidence come from? Where are you going to be at without confidence? Especially in a sport like this. It's a gladiator mm -hmm. sport. I'm never going to doubt myself. I'm never mm -hmm. going to... Never even gonna put myself in a position where I think that I'm gonna be doubted, uh, you know, by myself or anything like that. Um, the confidence is just instilled in me. That's how I was raised. Ain't, ain't, mama ain't raised no sucker. Damn, my father ain't raised no sucker. Yeah, me. Like that's why I'm here where I am today. What do you think it's tension, fight though? Huh? You think it's tension a bit? The There's tension. You feel tension? You feel tension? tension? Yeah. Nah. Um, you know, in the past at press conferences and at face offs, Tank has had the um, the antic of trying to get under their opponent's skin by either, you know, faking a, like swing at them or anything like that. Is that something you prepared for? Like what? is that something that you feel like is gonna make you Y'all gonna see. <laughs> <You know? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Nigga better not a fake swing on me. <laughs> Y'all gonna see. But um so, you know, uh, Lamont, what round are you you predicting a knockout by seventh, eighth? Like, what, what, what round are you gonna finish business? I'm predicting my hand to get raised at the end. Um, if he falls, he falls. Mm -hmm. but, two, two more questions. I'm kind of like mentally prepared. I mean, to beat Tank, even fighting Tank, your profile goes to a completely different level. You ain't gonna be able to go down the street, go to the corner, <laughs> chill. Yeah. yeah. They might go move you on. So, uh, are you just kind of ready for that? Like. Of course, of course, I'm ready for that. I really don't think about it much because I'm not worried about like stardom or none of that. It's gonna come regardless. But my main thing is winning. That's what I think about winning. I think about being the best. The only thing I think about after a victory is being recognized as the best. Come on, right here. Man, nah, man. You and Tank had a past, right? You might have already addressed this, but what's your message to you know to your fans and naysayers who might be concerned about you possibly pulling short? My message to the fans and the naysayers: If you're not gonna be here, buy the fight. That's 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 what it is. Gonna be fight of the, fight of the year contender. Um, I think so, honestly. Um, my skill is going to bring his skills, and, and you know, his side know what's up, my side know what's up. It's going to be a great fight.